Good morning and welcome to Lead Connectivity's product introduction for the Lyra series, a range of Bluetooth 5.3 modules in partnership with Silicon Labs. The Lyra series module hardware utilizes silicon from Silicon Labs called the EFR 32BG22. It features an ARM Cortex M33 with 512 KB of flash and 32 KB of RAM. It comes in multiple form factors, as you can see. A traditional PCB style module with an integrated antenna, or on the left, a miniaturized SIP module with an internal antenna, as well as the option for an RF pin for external antennas, which we'll touch upon later. The SIP module is only six by six millimeters in size. The Lyra P module is 13 by 15. And as you can see bottom left, a slight variance between the TX power between both of these module options. It supports a true full industrial temperature range of minus 40 to plus 105C. And then the usual array of certifications you would expect from lead connectivity, including FCC, ICED, UKCA, CE, KCC, and MIC. Finally, it is fully Bluetooth 5.3 SIG certified, um, including features such as Bluetooth LE coded, uh, and also 2 meg five. Looking at the development board options for this series, uh, on the left hand side is a kit for the PCB module and on the right a similar but different kit for the Lyra S module. Um, there is a hardware switch option to select the different firmware and we'll talk about that in the coming slides. The big difference between the two development boards is that the Lyra S version is mounted with an MHF4 connector to route to the external uh, antennas that we supply with the kit, one of which is the Flex Piffer um, that comes inside of the box. Um, the development board has a full integrated Sega J-Link debugger. There is a USB micro B connector for power uh, and also for a virtual COM port buttons, LEDs, and then on the base of this board, which you can't see, a mini simplicity connector. Also mounted are two connectors. The first for a micro bus uh, connector for micro e-click accessory boards, so a range of sensor boards. And then equivalently, there is a quick connector for a range of SparkFun accessory boards that you can buy separately and utilize with this development kit. In terms of that prior comment about the Lyra S and the external antenna options. So for the Lyra S, the SIP module, there is an integrated antenna, but we've also certified the following four additional antennas that are all internal antennas, but off board. Um, as mentioned previously, the Flex Piffer antenna you can see on here is included inside of that development kit. Again, just as a note, the Lyra P, the PCB module, only has an integrated antenna. Looking at the software options for this series, there is the two hardware options we talked about, the Lyra S SIP module, the Lyra P PCB module, and then our customers have a choice of three firmware options, all of which can be downloaded and run on the hardware shown above. The first of those options is our AT command set, which is our ongoing development track it offers all and full uh, capabilities of Wireless Express, as well as then the ability to do customizations to suit uh, any specific application. There is then a second option for Wireless Express, which is Silicon Labs added value software platform for this hardware. That is now frozen in its current release and is really provided as an option for existing Silicon Labs customers to be able to move forward with the Lyra series and an existing software release that they're comfortable with. Or finally, the third option is for full C code development. So utilizing Silicon Labs SDK and their Simplicity Studio IDE. We're now gonna focus a little bit more on the AT command set value proposition that Laird is adding to the Lyra series. An AT command set is, is well known. It's been utilized in the marketplace for a long time across a range of different wireless modules, including our own classic Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth low energy modules. It offers a simple, easy to use, production ready cable replacement technology. 
It's perfect for adding Bluetooth Low Energy into any existing designs and systems. It offers super fast time to market and customers can truly focus on what they need from their product's core capabilities and less understanding the many page Bluetooth Low Energy specifications. There is no RF expertise, no embedded Bluetooth Low Energy expertise required. Uh, it can run on any host microcontroller with a UART interface. It really does provide a simple, easy to use uh, connectivity option for programming and developing with Bluetooth Low Energy on the Lyra development series. Complete documentations, videos, and full technical support is available globally from Laird Connectivity directly. In terms of when is this gonna be available? Well, the part numbers, they're laid out as below, development kits and modules in both cut tape and tape and reel part numbers. The product series was publicly announced in February uh, and with full digital content, product brief and data sheets, all available at lairdconnect.com slash lyra dash series. And mass production of this part will be available with complete certification during Q2 of this year. Many thanks.